Welcome. Uh, this is the second series of conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. And um, we already have a video of conversion of galvanometer to ammeter. So now our channel endeavor to watch it. This is the conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. And um, from the diagram, you know how we used to do it. We believe in straight to the point, no long stories. This is a resistance. In order for you to convert a galvanometer to voltmeter, you need a resistance, a high resistance connected in series with a galvanometer. And the name of the high resistance that is connected in series with the galvanometer is called the multiplier. Know it very well. This is a complete jump question. Like I said, you need a what? A resistance. And like we said, the name of the resistance is called a multiplier. Don't forget. Now, you, you know how we used to do it. This is a beautiful formula. And of course, this is the voltage. The V there is the voltage. And you already know that this, the IR is the what? The galvanometer, the current. The current of the galvanometer. And then, the small letter R is the galvanometer resistance. And so, and that is all the is to That is a very powerful formula for you to use to calculate this thing immediately. We have a beautiful example here. As you can see it, a moving coil meter with an internal resistance of 100 ohms. So R is 100 ohms. Has a full scale deflection when a current of so the current of the galvanometer is 110 milliammeter, and of course we convert it to ammeters by dividing by 1,000, and this will give you 0 0.01 ampere. Now, when a current of 10 milliammeter flows through it, what value of resistance would convert it to to read? 10 volt at full scale deflection. So we have our voltage to be 10 V. Now they want us to know, so we already know that R is V all over IR minus R. You have your voltage, which is 10 volts, which is 10, all over, you have 0 0.01 minus, and our internal resistance or resistance of the galvanometer is 100. 10 divided by this should give you 1,000 minus 100. Therefore, the value of, of, your, of your R is what? Um, 900 ohms. I want you to know something. If you have watched our first video, you will notice that always the value of the galvanometer current is always given in milliammeters. In case you are having issues of bringing those terminologies out, the current of the galvanometer is always a milliammeter. And you can see that normally, under the conversion of galvanometer to ammeter, that the other one half, the current of the ammeter is always in, in amps. Now, you can see this. How some, some of my students will ask me, Master, how can I know if this is conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter or ammeter? You can see in this question, they are talking about. They said, when a current of 10 milliammeter flows through it, what value of resistance would convert it to read 10 volts at full scale deflection? If you're already seeing this, you know it's a conversion. And then you are seeing voltage. You already know that you are converting it immediately to a voltmeter. If they want you to convert it to an ammeter, they will not put volts. You'll be dealing with the current of the word, the ammeter. So that's another way for you to see through it. Note also that this value 900 is also connected in series. The name of the current, the high resistant currents, the high resistant um, resistance that is connected in series with the galvanometer is called what? Of course, it's called a multiplier. Please note this thing very well. Jot it down. Solve more example. This simple formula you are seeing is the bump. Thank you very much.